Oklahoma gets their quarterback, albeit late in the process. They land Nick Evers. This was kind of an interesting development. Nick was headed to Florida. It was all in with Florida. They make the coaching change. He's back on the market, and you wonder where he's going to land. All of a sudden, he has an abundance of options, and it ends up being Oklahoma. Why do you think they targeted him as the guy, and, and what kind of guy are the Sooners getting? Yeah, uh, Jeff Lebby, and uh, he's the key to the operation, and, and he zeroed in on Evers. Um, you know, as soon as Billy Napier hired Flor- uh, was hired by Florida, you know, he had to make a decision to, on Evers, and Evers had to make a decision on him, and seemed like a, a mutual parting of ways, and, and Evers wanted to explore his options, and who could blame him, because he was he was all in for, for Dan Mullen, and he really, really appreciated that Florida staff. Um, obviously with, um, with them being gone, you can't, you can't blame him for reevaluating his options. Um, you know, Oklahoma, obviously their, their history with quarterbacks, you know, you could tie that in with Lincoln Riley for sure, but they have a program, especially on the offensive side of the ball and then at that quarterback position. And, and Jeff Levy is probably one of the most highly acclaimed offensive coordinators in the entire country after what he did last year with, with Matt Corral at Ole Miss and then really getting a lot of credit in Oxford for what he's done. Um, and his body of work, obviously, Levy is an Oklahoma guy. Um, and I think he's going to be a guy that we're going to be talking about as a head coach not too far from now. And, uh, you know, when you with Nick Evers, a guy that can run the ball, but really he can sling it downfield. He's a hardworking kid, football IQ through the roof. Um, you know, a guy that Levy can develop and, and fit in his offense. I think we're going to see some some big plays, some big splash plays at Oklahoma like we're used to with Evers behind center. All right, so uh, better late than never. Oklahoma gets their quarterback. Be sure to check out Soonerscoop.com for more coverage of the Sooners 2022 signing class.